Welcome back to Sparks Backyard Garden. Today is going to be a, a part two of the planning video that you saw previously. Uh, in the first planning video, we discussed soil amendments and uh, anticipation of, of pests and diseases, also location, uh, different things like that to make sure that you have a successful garden uh, as far as planning goes. Today's planning is going to be actual planning of what you're going to uh, be planting and where it's going to be planted at. So let's get right into it. As you can see here, I actually have everything mapped out as far as where the different vegetables are going to go. And um, there's been some uh, quite a bit of extensive planning that went into this little map here. And so as you can see, I actually have it set up to where I know where my uh, my tomatoes are going to be. I've actually got tomatoes kind of spread out all over the place that the sun is going to go this direction and work its way across the garden. Uh, so therefore I, I had to plan accordingly. I wanted to make sure that something wasn't going to be shaded out. For example, um, I have beans planted in this bed here in these two spaces. I wanted to make sure that there wasn't going to be something smaller than the beans on this side of them so that it, so that it wasn't going to get shaded out. So the next thing is, is there are companion planting guides and I highly recommend if you're going to be growing very many things, look up companion planting. It's, it's very helpful. Some, um, some things being planted next to each other can actually work synergistically and meaning that some plants will attract beneficial insects that can help the plant next to it and vice versa some plants will uh, attract insects that might not bother that specific plant but it might bother the plants that are planted immediately next to it as well i hope you enjoyed this episode of sparks backyard garden if you did give it a thumbs up be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time